continuing on, you want to take pictures um, of where this lever right here is, and you want to try to put that lever back in the same spot. Uh, that lever is what controls the uh, music box uh, to shut it off. Um, prior to taking the movement out apart, you have to take the uh, rack and snail off in this uh, wheel here. And they're just uh, little eclipse to take those off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now off camera. I have the rack and snail off. I should have uh, showed you all that you'd want to do a function test to make sure that the uh, um, the item is working properly um, prior to uh, taking everything apart. Um, but uh, this uh, rack stop lever and this is a lift um, lever on the hour this minute arbor turns which lifts this lever here which lifts the rack stop lever which allows the uh, uh, canyon pinion uh, to turn and uh, uh, which allows the bird to cuckoo but This is the little wire that helps the rack stop lever uh, stay in place. And these are held in place with E-clips also. A lot of them use uh, friction clips and they're a pain in the butt to deal with. I like the E-clips better. So I want to take the uh, lip stop lever and the rack stop lever off. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now off camera. Now they have the rack stop lever off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the nuts for the uh, movement. I like using a uh, nut driver. That way I don't damage the uh, nuts. You can use a pair of pliers if you want. I like using a nut driver when I can. Of course, uh, you can't use a nut driver for this last nut here, so I use a pair of pliers to take that nut off. And then you should be able to take the movement apart. 